Okay, we have the last one here. Game six in the first match between France and Canada. And here's the kingdom. Here's the kingdom. I have no idea how to play this kingdom. There's a little crane in the middle of the board, which I have no idea how to use. There's Overlord, which is immense, and Lurker can fish the Overlords out for free. So you play one Lurker, put one in the bin, an Overlord in the bin, play another Lurker, get the Overlord out of the bin, ta-da! You have something that costs a lot for very, very cheap. Um, outside of these two cards, well, what else is there? There's Magpie, which is nice. Uh, trashing is limited. Develop is there. I would like to trash a little bit, but it's unclear to me how to open here. I have no idea what I want to do. I have some idea of what I want to do. Just how to build it is, is the tricky part here. I was maybe thinking, look, um, it kind of depends on what your opponent does. If he doesn't go for Lucas straight away, maybe you could get away with something like Magpie develop first and then go back for Lucas. You definitely don't want Lucas just when. Um, you might want two on the opening. I don't know, just because Overlord is that good. Lo Overlord is great. Overlord is a very, very good card here. It mimics nearly everything in the kingdom. Nearly everything, as long as in the as long as it's in the supply, of course. So, anyways, <clears throat> Emmerich opens with a Luka. Fine, I could see that. No problem. Um, Shayla opens with a Luka. Fine, I could see that. No problem. Emmerich goes double Luka. I don't know about that. I prefer to get Magpie Lurker here and then go back for a Lurker. I could be wrong. Like I said, Overlord is a very, very good card. And if you want to open Double Lurker to try to get a chance at that, fine. It's about 30% that they look collide like this for Emmerich. I mean, I wouldn't want to play with 30% odds, but I don't know. It might be a risk worth taking. Still doesn't seem like it in my head, but maybe. So just to get the Overlord. So he will get an Overlord here. He should, anyway. Um, and another Lurker for Shayla. So, okay. So just like that game with the Farmer's Markets, where they all dove in after the Farmer's Markets, they're going to do something similar here for the Lurkers. I'm not sure how many Lurkers you want in your deck. Um, I think it was Seprix who said, look, a deck that uses Lurkers is good not necessarily a deck that has Lucas. So if you have a way to play four Lucas consistently, I think you would value that than a deck that has six Lucas but can't play them as consistently. Value that more is what I'm saying. I think. I don't know. At the same time, you want to have some number of Lucas so that your opponent just doesn't fish all the overlords out of the pile very easily so maybe i would get something like three or four and stop there i agree with that second mark by it just makes it much more likely that your lucas collide speaking of that putting a curse into your deck just to go for defile shrine points yeah that puts a purple card in between your lucas and makes it more likely they don't collide so i don't like that um curse pickup and emmerich does it has done it already and Shayla will do it soon but none of them have trash in one and two more importantly it makes it less likely your Lucas collide and you really 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 I feel like I, I want my Lucas to collide because Overlord is that good is that good at this point in the chat I realize wait, 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 wait. if you play Overlord as treasury here's what's gonna happen you could put that Overlord back on top of your deck that is that is brilliant. That is brilliant. If you have nothing better to play it as, just play it as a treasury. Put it back on top of your deck, and you could use it as something else later. And treasury is not a bad card, not a bad card at all. Especially um, in this context here, yeah, in this game, is not a bad card in this game at all. Yeah. So here, uh, Emmerich goes to fish a magpie out of the supply with a couple local players. Like I said, I disagree. All double Lucas should be overlords. I'm looking here at something with Blessed Village Library Draw. Um, if you're lucky, you get a couple Lucas in first, so your dry library draws more. Uh, there's also Horse Traders to make the library thing work a little bit better. That's a bit more cumbersome. The Lucas are non-terminal is the reason why. And maybe, you know, slowly you do something with um, Develop and get your deck thin and nice here. 
However, at some point, um, RTT points out, look man, uh, this game could 3-pile or should 3-pile very, very quickly on Lurkers, which are already gone. Uh, but do you see here, none of these decks are using them very consistently. They have, what, 5 each, let's say? But they can't use all 5 of them in one turn, which makes the deck stronger, right? They have to rely on luck, like, oh, I happen to draw two Lurkers together, hooray, let me use it now. Rather than making something that, you know, has a 70% chance, 80% chance of playing 4 Lurkers per turn. Then you're rolling, right? Then you're rolling, and then you could just you know, dig out all the treasuries, dig out whatever you like, all the villages too. You just have a lot more pile control and a better deck at that point. So, like, at some point you have to stop and see, okay, is this Luca really too much at this point? Uh, do I need to uh, pick up one more? Can I do without it? That's not an easy question to answer, uh, but it's something you have to consider. Five, I think, is too much. I might play with three Lucas until I get the deck running. I don't know. I don't know. And I definitely wouldn't be buying these curses. Finally, you know what? Like, take take the points. I don't care. Uh, the points only matter in the event of a three pile, which RTT points out in the chat somewhere. Look, we could have a very quick three pile on Lucas. Silver for Emmerich. I don't know what he's doing with these silvers. Uh, Lucas, Magpies, and Overlords. However, they haven't been hitting the Overlords. The, the Overlords are one each, and then they seem to have forgotten about them uh, as a result the deck both decks are not that good honestly i think shayla has a bit more magpies because she started a bit earlier which is good for her um n n she also has a developer but hasn't been able to use it soon uh the pull levers are whatever in fact it might even be worse than nothing just because it makes magpie worse not really sure not really sure there anyway uh so here look we'll see another Curse by, yeah, another curse by for some points there uh, from Emmerich. He gets a coin and a library at this one. So finally, someone's picked up draw. Emmerich again, just like the last Farmer's Market farmers market game, is the first person to pick up draw. Um, so, right, like the game could go in two ways, right? You pressure the magpies will run themselves out, you pressure the lurkers, and the lurkers pressure the overlord in your deck. So, you get to a point, you could get to a point very quickly where the three pile is imminent, in which case the defile trend points might matter. However, they didn't play this game like this, so I don't think they should have gone for the defile trend points. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the alternative is for the game to go a bit longer, right? Where, okay, you maybe get. Blessed Village and Library working, develop, you might be able to turn a, a, a few estates into something, a few coppers out of your deck. Um, yeah, so now Emmerich is purchasing Blessed Villages, getting the boons out that way. He's trying to string together the Blessed Village Library draw, I imagine. Uh, however, not however, um, yeah, so both players, they haven't been using their lurker against again overlord which i think is now my biggest criticism of this game for both sides honestly for both sides so here um like as soon as i found out about that treasury interaction with overlord i was thinking look man you could stack back your deck until you get two overlords in play and then go one as blessed village one as library uh maybe depending on what you draw right uh you could kind of set up your turn and treasury is not like I said, not bad at all. It gives you money to buy things. Uh, gold here uh, for Shayla again. Better alternatives. Well, yeah, Treasury, Library, Overlord. I really don't like gold. <laughs> I, I like gold less than I like silver. I, silver is fine, you know, whatever. But gold, I don't know. Anyways. So, more Blessed Villages and another curse from Emmerich here. This time just to take two points off the shrine, right? So, he took it before with five points. And now he's taking it with two points. He's taken three defiled shrines here. Uh, he's six points in the lead as a result of it. But his deck is a bit worse, I believe. Bit worse. But, look, I think I know what he's doing. He's trying to set himself up for a three pile on the overlords to use his lucas to knock them out. It's still a long way away. Still a very, very long way away. But um, I think that's what he's trying to do. Just trying to shield himself against a three pile at this point in the game here. 
So finally, somebody picked up another Overlord. I, it was Emmerich of the Double Lurker play, and Shayla follows him here with another gain of the Overlord. Uh, but with only $3 in hand, it's not a lot you could pick up. Yeah, second develop, not sure how much that does for you there. Um, and now uh, another Overlord gain from Emmerich. And he goes for Blessed Village. I uh, could have considered purchasing an Overlord there, but instead he goes for another case to get a couple more points of the Defiled Shrine. So it's um a bit clearer now that he is pushing for the three pile ending. And it's surprisingly little that um, Sheila could do about that. She is also helping him with the piles here a bit, but at the same time you want the overlords for yourself, right? So she picks up a, an overlord, puts one in the bin, takes it out with a double lurker play there. Um and passes the turn over. So here I would have played a bit more aggressively in Emmerich in this position. I would have smashed overlords out of the pile and bought one there i would have done that that's just me but uh, he goes for something a bit more conservative and uh, just gaining one overlord with the double lookup play and picking up a duchy and at this point things look very very scary for shayla 10 points in the back uh neither decks are that good province seems a long long way off here and None of them seem to have picked up on the um, treasury stacking back thing with the overlord to try to get a big turn every now and then. Uh, so finally, Emmerich manages to collide his village with his library and comes out here with uh, another look up to trash our overlord. Uh, again, 10 points is a lot of points given the states of the deck here. And it looks very, very scary that... Um, for, for Shayla here. Just two overlord. That's two local plays and the game is done. The game is done. Again, um, Emery could have considered just buying an overlord because he just needs to find one of his five lurkers or so. Play it and uh, just pop it out of the supply to finish the game here. But he's going a bit conservatively here. Does allow Shayla the opportunity to pick up a province. Still, leave, still leaves her a bit behind on the um, VP score there but it does make it uh, does give emmerich something to think about if he doesn't find a couple lurkers here you know what what is my best play should i continue to empty the overload should i buy one to rush the end of the game or should i try to pick up points so province here yeah there you go there's a province but i think really shayla needed one more province to make emmerich really sweat as it turns out, he finds a lurker to dig out the last overlord and buy the last one for the win. So, uh, the game finishes 5-1 uh, in the French's favour here. I will be bringing you as many matches that I can. Uh, let me know what you think of this format, if it's something you like, uh, something you don't like, you don't care to see. And thanks for watching.